Hey y'all. Do y'all do hair and then makeup or makeup and then hair? <sighs> How do you feel? How do you feel about Van Cleef Alhambra bracelets? The girlies on IG are saying the ones from TG Maxx and Macy's are knockoffs, but are better quality. Is I don't know if my bracelets are Alhambra. I'll be honest, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> they're like Lucky Clover, something like that. I don't even know. <sighs> I forgot the name. I don't remember, but they're not fake, so. I love these, though. I love these bracelets. They're good quality. But, yeah. I'm doing my hair because, of course, we gotta film. And I literally have hell of footage to edit. Edage? What is that word? Footage and edit. Footage and edit to edit um i need to edit the footage from just when we went horseback riding and then the footage from we wore fake pregnancy bellies and went out to the bars and we're drinking y'all and then we accidentally crashed a wedding i'm not joking like i don't know why our life is like this but um yeah so crashed a wedding wore a fake pregnancy belly out to the bars to drink um and crash the wedding and we have all that footage that we need to edit and upload to the patreon so yeah i kind of feel like doing my makeup first where say too much on youtube say too much got taken down because of um a man and i i just took it down because they were doing too much i'm actually getting in the studio in like a week i'm about to i'm about to just get in the studio and fool around and see if i want to do music again um you know see if i still got it and whatnot Ugh, bro this clip is not big enough well i know i still got it i always got it but i just haven't been in the studio in so long so I did think about though, I'm like, what if I get in the booth and freeze up? That'd be crazy. Some said reminds me of when that girl tweeted how you 30 and still rapping. <sighs> I think it's one thing to something yeah i don't really give a fuck i'm gonna be honest i literally been rapping since i was 17 years old i pop in and out i really can do whatever the hell i want that's the crazy thing i can do whatever the hell i want because that's just how my life is set up you feel me like maybe you can't do whatever the hell you want but i can do whatever the hell i want and be successful while doing it so you know that's just how i live my life and yeah pretty much so that's what I say to people who say things like that. You just can't do whatever the fuck you want. Oh. How did you get financially independent? Um, I just worked really hard, I guess. I don't know. 
I've been financially independent many, 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 many years. So I just worked hard. Now you guys got, you ain't got to say too much. How did you become so confident? Um, how did I become so confident? Interesting question. Hmm. I think that I became kind of very confident to like combat people who used to like pick on me, I guess. Um, I guess I just realized that it pissed people off even more. Like, people will, like, be jealous of you and, you know, want to tear you down when they see that you are beautiful, you are funny, or you are talented. And they'll try to, like, pick at you and make you feel small and belittle yourself and want you to humble yourself and put your head down and fall in line and do all of those things. But me, I'm extremely hard-headed. So, I don't know. I just, I felt like that gave me confidence to just kind of be like, fuck y'all. Like, now I'm going to make it 10 times worse. Because now I'm going to act like you could never bother me. You know? It's just, it's just a better way of living in my perspective than to be a victim all the time. Like, even in moments where I feel like I have been a victim, I'm going to talk so much shit, you're going to look at me and not even think I'm the victim. You're going to think I'm the villain, honestly. You're like, that bitch definitely did that shit. What? I need to do my eyebrows. I need a baby wipe and I don't know where the baby wipes went. All these IG girls are high class escorts. So don't let them fool you. I really want to know why people think I am a prostitute. I am not a high class escort, my love. I know that you think that that's the only way a gorgeous, gorgeous girl can succeed in life. But um, yeah, no sorry you're very wrong i'm sorry that that you think that that's the only way somebody could just like you know have their way but you know girls can be bosses too it's probably unknown to you but whatever bro i'm not going on baddies ever like how many times do i have to fucking tell y'all please stop bringing it up that low class garbage ass shit like stop, don't even i'm annoyed that i even ever did bgc sometimes because y'all some people still see me like that that show is so fucking far beneath me like please drop it and stop bringing it up every time i get on a live like i don't want anything to do with that trash at all it will never happen like literally so please drop it Waiting for you to get your own show or something. That is the goal, I guess, for Shy and I. We did shoot a pilot. We're waiting for the footage. It's probably going to fucking suck and we're probably going to have to uh, shoot it again. But, you know, fingers crossed. Always. Where the fuck are those wipes? <sighs> Bro, I need to touch my shit.
why are you always so defensive with your tone when you speak um because people say a lot of stupid shit to me if you haven't realized and that might cause like a human to be defensive and i don't know if you know like it's actually common sense as to why i would sound defensive but i think that's why because i really hate dumb people and like a lot of people who comment on here say dumb negative things and it annoys me like a question like that it's dumb as fuck so it makes me feel defensive it's like i'm defending my brain for your from your stupidity Like this is too dark right now. <laughs> what are your thoughts on the Justin Combs thing? Don't mind me asking what thing. This foundation is too dark right now. He'll talk about missing Orion. He's over here. He's been so bad. Like, actually been hella bad for like the last few days. He's been annoying the fuck out of me. Yeah, let me put some light concealer on. Do I wash this sponge? Yeah, I do. I do wash the sponge. It's stained though forever. Hey, Ryan girl. But honestly, I'm not gonna lie, my brushes are hella dirty right now. And like, I was just looking at them disgusted. <sighs> but I still gotta use it. I'm gonna just wash them later. Somebody said, you leave your cats. Oh my God, this is the same guy who said I'm a high class escort. You leave your cats nearly every month while you get flown out. You should get done for cat neglect. Okay. Um, or how about you come babysit? Because you seem angry. You want to come babysit the cats? While I get flown out is hilarious. While I travel? <laughs> like... Get flown out is hilarious. Like, I don't have shit to do in different places. Like, babe, I'm traveling. Like, <laughs> cat neglect is crazy. <laughs> oh my god, it's funny as hell. Oh shit, this is too late. Violet is downstairs asleep on the couch. <laughs> Someone call animal services. Please, y'all, don't call Paw Patrol. They are just fine, y'all. But no, actually, my cats, yeah, my cats stay home alone for usually four days at a time tops. There's been times where it's been five days at a time tops, but they have a self-cleaning litter box. They have plenty of food and water. I have friends come check on them. My friends have keys to my house. Um, they have each other. I... They are completely fine. They're not missing anything. I 
I have a deep love for cranberry juice and it's biracial children. Did AI just write that? What does that even mean? Oh yes, and I do have cameras all over my house. So I check on them myself too. How old is too old to party? Um, I feel like you could just party however old you want to party. I mean, honestly, I don't really care to party that much. But you can party whatever age, I guess, if you feel like it. Do you not like to wear lipstick? I don't really wear lipstick. I will wear like lip liner and lip gloss, but that's as far as it kind of goes for me. Da, da, da. Do you sleep with your jewelry? Yes, I do. Okay, this guy's getting blocked. He said, yeah, because she doesn't want to leave lipstick on her clients. If you know, you know. Bro, this guy is a retard. I gotta block him. Like, grade A loser. You gotta go. Literally. Like, what are you talking about? Lipstick on her clients. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, he is convinced I am a prostitute. I am so confused. Like, why do people think I am a hooker? Who am I selling coochie to? I don't even like sleeping with the guys that y'all be fiending to sleep with. I don't even want to sleep with them. What makes you think I want to sleep with a damn random man? A random man from Atlanta. I don't even want to be sleeping with these motherfuckers that I have access to. Quite honestly. He must be trying to see so he can see if he could buy some coochie woochie. He's like, she's a prostitute, y'all. Hopefully. <laughs> okay, let me set this shit. Does anyone tell you that you look tall because you're shorter than I expected, but it's cute? People do tell me I look tall, but that is because I purposely catfished to look tall. So that is intentional. I don't really like how short I am. So, yeah, I like to lie and be fake. So, yeah. But I'm only 5'4". So, yeah. You look a good 5'8". And that is the height that I wish I was. Honestly. But I'm not. How do you make yourself look taller in pics? I just get, I just angle it that way. I don't like edit myself taller. I just make people take the picture from low, like, like as low as possible.
Y'all, I went and tried to call myself thrift shopping. Because, like, you know, I'm trying to be, like, thrifty. More in my artsy bag. Like, I want to throw away, like, all my, like, fashion over clothes from when I had deal a deal with them for years. I want to, like, throw away all my fast fashion and, like, try to actually be a little fashion girl. So, I was like, I'm going to go thrifting. And I'm going to, like, find oversized pants something cute now that i'm a fashion girl i thought the things i got are very interesting choices but i'm gonna get them tailored and see how it works but you know we're gonna just see we're gonna just see how it goes and it's crazy because i have so much stuff that i'm like been needing to donate i literally just don't want to carry the bags downstairs but I'm gonna like clean this closet out and get rid of all the um, fast fashion stuff and then go donate it. You stopped your day with Fashion Nova. Yes, I did. I stopped working with Fashion Nova because I was working with them for, I don't know how many years, maybe seven. And they just kept getting cheaper and cheaper and paying less and less and less. And they kind of started doing it to, like, everybody. And they would, like, try to go lower on what they were paying you. And then they would want you to do hella shit. Hella post. Hella promo. Um, so I was like, I'm straight. I really don't want to renew my contract. I have no, like, desire to even do this anymore. Um, like... No, they just really was like trying to play and i don't know if they was losing money like i don't know what it was but for my friends who all do bashing up we were saying the same thing um so i'll go working with them and then they tried to like call me and be like oh yeah like we you know we want you to come back and i was like okay pay me more they're like oh it's not in your budget okay well then i'm not in your budget so goodbye i'd rather not post it i'm actually cool like genuinely i'm actually cool because it was just like actually getting disrespectful and then it would be like i don't know it was just, just politics just too much shit I actually don't know why I'm putting on this much makeup because I'm literally just going to film. But what else? What made you change your DW profile picture? Um, honestly, I was just like, maybe it's time for a change. You know? So I changed it. And so many people had something to say about it. Everyone's like, go back to DW. I'm just like, it might be time. It might be time. You know? It might be. Time to grow up. So, yeah. I took her away. Even though I still relate to her deeply. DW was my profile picture for years, guys, for those of you guys who are confused. She's a cartoon character. Damn, I don't know who DW is. That's crazy. 
that must be like three years old okay i need to wash my makeup brushes they are disgusting to say the least Twin. Hey, book. Brother. Hola, sexy Latina chica. Hola, Chicana. Chicana. Hola, chica. Mad annoying. Stop, stop. You get hair on everything. Quit touching things that don't belong to you. God. Orion has been on a fucking bender. I need to get Shy over here so that she can shave him because he is getting hair everywhere. I gave him a bath, I gave him a shower, and he just got fucking hair on these sweatpants that are brand new like a patch of hair like why are you shedding so much it's very odd do you know spanish si un poco Use the lint roller on him. Oh, it's actually a good idea. I just sounded like goofy. <laughs> shedding off his winter coat well he needs to fucking shed it somewhere else with his dumb ass no, i'm just kidding <laughs> abuse animal abuse okay so this is how i like to crimp my hair in like a quick way so i can kind of teach y'all i guess Nobody knows you like I don't know. Cat neglect. Yes, cat neglect. So come pick him up and save him. Come pick him up and take him. Just kidding. I probably would actually. No, I would. I would unalive somebody for all right. I'm not even gonna lie. Like if it came down to like somebody else and him, you would have to go. Not gonna hold you, cuz. You will be out of here. Somebody said, no, it's extensions. Actually, it's not extensions. Thanks, though. Thanks for spreading misinformation.
You sound like a man. Well, then what does a man sound like? What does a woman sound like? If I sound like a man. Hmm? What does a woman sound like? Better like... But like, porque... Is this your real hair? Yes, it is. Y'all are so nosy. Please mind your business. <sighs> Would you ever go back to short hair? No, because I don't want to cut off all my real hair. My real hair is 30 inches, so no, I wouldn't do that. Hey, 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 get away from things. He's really been annoying me for the last two days, I'm not gonna lie. Like yesterday, I was crying and he was trying to force me to pet him. And I just had a moment where I was like so fucking irritated. I was like, get away from me! And he got so scared. <gasps> it's like literally having a child, bro. Like, I'm over here crying, and he's like, and I'm like, you know, totally overstimulated. And I felt so bad. <laughs> That's funny. Where the fuck is that hair stuff? Orion is eight. Yes, he is eight. But he has been acting like a kitten lately. And he prob it's probably because he missed me. Because I was out of town for a little bit. He probably missed me. So sometimes when I come home, he could be a little extra. So I'm like, okay, I get it. I do get it. So I have to give him like a lot of attention the first, you know, a few days I come home. Have I had him since he was a baby? Yes, I have. Do you regret any tattoos you have? Not really. Like if I could go back and not get some, I wouldn't get any. But I don't like actively like regret any like, oh my God, I want to get this removed. I want to get this covered up. Oh, y'all hear the sound downstairs? That's the dryer, y'all. That's me from washing my thrift store finds. Where did I get him Craigslist? I've told the story. His Craigslist story before. I know you're not going back to them sweatpants. Hey, hey, hey. See? It's like literally like having a toddler. Like every five seconds when he's being bad, I have to be like, no, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no, get down. Why aren't you crimping at the roots? Um, because you don't really have to. I'll show you why. So that's what I do. I have like just, you know, three little sections, whatever. Hold on, let me get the hairspray. Hold on. Come on out here, Orion. I want 
wanted him to get out so I could go like this. God. But, anyways. Okay. Hairspray your crimps. That was just three sections. <sighs> So boom, I'll show you on this side. <sighs> okay, this is just like a really quick way to crimp your hair. Works. Just look at your first. So you do like three, three big sections each side. That's if you have like a big enough crimper i guess and really the bottom layer does not matter because you're not going to see it somebody said tresemme is crazy what's so crazy about tresemme did i miss something Oh. <sighs> Why are you always going out? Um, babe, because I always got something to do. Like I'm going to, to work. Somebody said that's a terrible product causes cancer. Really? Because I feel like everything causes cancer. Like what is good for you? Nothing. So second, second layer makes your hair fall out. I'm going to have to do a little research on that. I love your kava recipe on YouTube. Thank you. It was good, right? I haven't made that since then, but I should. Do you prefer gold or silver jewelry? I have both gold and silver jewelry. Um, as you can see. And I think that the way that I managed to... Okay, the way that I incorporated wearing silver and gold jewelry is because I... This is like a hack that I feel like I kind of thought of and I, I think it works so I don't know by like what's the first person ever think of it but it's just like what I used in my brain to make me feel like wearing gold and silver is okay if I have like gold things with diamonds on them it's like gold and silver so then I feel like okay if I have gold with diamonds on it that's gold and silver so I could wear gold and silver so like this hand is gold but it has diamonds this ring so it's gold and silver and then this gold and has diamonds so it's silver this wrist is silver jewelry and then this wrist is gold and silver jewelry and then once again gold and diamonds gold diamonds. You know what I mean? so that's just you know what I use to be like whatever 
like if it was all solid gold and all solid silver i'd be like hmm but yeah sorry my other thing i don't care sorry Do I shower with my rings on? Yes, I shower with all my jewelry on. What is the best thing a man has gifted you? <sighs> cash. Cash, 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 cash. Yeah. I guess, yeah, cash. It's always going to be my favorite gift is cash. Okay, so now that that side's done, I'm going to show y'all. So that was only really six sections. And then I have the top layer up here. Shit, where is my? Some said, girl, that ain't helping the escort things they're saying. Because I've been gifted cash. How does that make me an escort? That just makes me a bad bitch. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't understand. Like, what? I'm confused. How does that make me an escort? How much cash though? <sighs> A good amount. Damn. This fucking heat protectant hasn't dried all the way. Do you have any bad roommate stories? Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. That's why I will never have a roommate ever again in my life because I've had some terrible roommates. So then I take the top part, <laughs> the details in the book, amazing guess. I do have some bad roommate stories in my book, so yeah. Let's smoke a blunt. I don't smoke. Van Cleef or Cartier, answer the real questions. I was about to say I have no Cartier, but I forgot my watch is Cartier. Um, what is that? I really don't care about jewelry. I'm going to be honest. So, um, whatever is gifted to me. I did buy my watch myself, but I really don't care for it. I kind of want to sell it. And I really probably will never buy good jewelry for myself again. I'll probably only accept it as gifts do you have any chrome hearts no i don't it's cute though what do you care about i like cash like i like 
I'm not like a big materialistic person. I'm more of like a comfortability person when it comes to money. More of like a experiences that only money can buy type person, you know? I mean, I like bags, but I'm not going to lie. I'm not like the type of person to like keep all my bags like on a shelf and never touch them. Like I'm going to wear them. Um, I'm not really like that with stuff, but yeah, pretty much. Do you feel like money can buy you happiness? Um, no, it cannot buy you happiness, but it can make life a little bit easier, which can lead to you being able to be happier easier for sure but it does not buy happiness at all like you can be going through all of the things that you're going through right now and um that like you know don't have to do with money you you make 10 million dollars you're still going through those things doesn't matter won't change anything you'll just be rich and sad that's really the truth but it does make you know things easier like not having to worry about money being able to kind of just do whatever you want and um yeah it's kind of my standpoint on been making hella money after i read your books lol i love that that's what i like to hear man do you still deal with depression um, I have not been depressed in many years now. So no, I won't say I deal with depression anymore. Um, you know, I have my ups and downs, but that's pretty much it. Do you ever do hostings or anything like that? Not really, um, because... I get asked to do hostings and stuff. I'm not going to lie. I'm not really the, the biggest fan of hosting clubs and stuff. I feel like I've already done that. I mean, I guess if it was like crazy, crazy money, I would do it. But to me, anything under like 10K is just like not worth it to me. And like, I don't really host anymore so people don't really look to me to like host anymore obviously they don't see me doing it they don't think about me when they're booking people really um, i probably could get back into it if i wanted to be in the club all the time but i just i don't really care for it if i'm being honest like you just have to go to random ass states ugh, deal with janky ass freaking promoters and just annoying if it's like a good bag though i'll go but really okay chunky right now
dream vacation i don't know well japan i actually just booked my flight for japan today so i'm actually very excited for that and that's my dream vacation i'm gonna be honest I've always wanted to go to japan i'm finally going to japan why does my hair look like this booked my flight today and yeah that's my dream vacation i can't wait to go i hope it's a grand 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 ball Okay, this does not look 